What's going on guys and welcome back to a new video. So for those of you that are new to the channel, my name is Joshua Daniel George. I am a digital marketer and online coach. I have my own social media marketing agency where I basically help other business grow by leveraging Facebook ads. And then I have a coaching business where I teach you guys on how to do the same. So how to get your first client, how to build an agency, scale it, and then be able to live life on your own terms. Now, with that said, obviously this video is going to be slightly different because we're going to be talking about something that everyone is talking about at the moment and I was very reluctant to film a video about this um, and I basically tried my best to ignore this as much as possible, as selfish as that may sound. I am not one to watch the news, I try and avoid the news at all costs. Um, it's partly because it does not interest me anymore, uh, but also because the time that I spend uh, like th that I would spend worrying about what is going on in the world I could also be spending on building you know my own business and with that said you know what is going on in the world I cannot influence it or impact it or change it in any way shape or form but with that said if I do focus on my business I build up a uh, significant amount of wealth then at that point I might actually be able to do something about it so that is my mindset in terms of like current events and for example if you ask me what is going on in the Middle East or what I think of politics um, you know, I don't know Donald Trump I have no idea I have no like knowledge on any of those topics because I'm basically staying in my lane and focusing as much as I possibly can on digital marketing and on you know in this case social media marketing now with that said obviously um, this is now becoming like a worldwide um, issue and everyone is talking about it and like I said I tried my best to ignore it as much as possible until I started getting replies and notifications like this so um, I got a couple of responses from my follow-up and my out cold outreach emails that uh, these clients will not be doing anything in the digital market realm until they figure out what is going on in terms of the coronavirus and in terms you know of what that impact you know, or what impact that has on their business so as soon as it started to impact me and influence me um, potentially financial as well I thought okay now it's actually time to open up that kind of worms and see what is actually going on and to give this video any type of structure at all because this is going to be me rambling on for a couple of minutes um, I am basically going to look at it in the short term and in the long term and then how that impacts uh, us digital marketers and social media marketers and those that are aspiring to have their own social media marketing agency. Now with that said, um, I do not have a uh, like doctor's degree or anything like that. I am in no way an expert. I have limited knowledge on the whole situation. And please do not take anything I say uh, too seriously. Like this is just basically one digital marketer's um, view and opinion on the whole situation. So as you can see from those emails that I got, um, there's a lot of panic and a lot of uncertainty, especially for those smaller businesses. And I think that that in the short term will be the case. Um, us digital marketers will probably get this reply quite often. You'll notice that the smaller businesses that have no set structure in place or set marketing plan will start to panic and basically, you know, stop all further investments at all costs and they will try and limit the amount of, of spending they do um, to make sure that they have enough funds, um, like the rainy day funds, for uh, anything that may arise with the coronavirus. Okay, so in the short term, like I said, there will be panic and you will get more objections when you reach out to your businesses. Now, with that said, speaking of smaller businesses um, or businesses in general, I've noticed that a lot of people are now working from home. Uh, so those that have that possibility to work from home are now uh, basically staying home and working from their laptop. So everyone's sort of living the laptop lifestyle. Uh, but, you know, obviously uh, it is a little bit more serious than that. And not everyone can actually work from home. You know, that is something that I think is a skill, you know, um, especially when you're in a new, uh, when you have new surroundings, you're in a new situation. Um, it's much more difficult to actually be productive and get stuff done. I noticed it when I had my own office, you know, for the first week I was like a, like a zombie, like non-productive and nothing was going right. It took me like four hours to get one thing done that I could have done in 30 minutes when I was working from home. And the same happens basically um, when it's vice versa. You know, if someone that is used to working in an office environment, used to having all like the whole like office atmosphere, um, meetings, you know, productivity and stuff like that, 
if they go to a quiet home environment, they will struggle because they are not used to it. They are not used to it being that quiet. It will annoy them that it's that quiet. They will not, uh, it'll, you know, they won't be used to having that many distractions, you know, in terms of like the, the washing could be, uh, get done, the, the ironing needs to do, and um, there's dust in the house, you know, that is your house, so you feel responsible to clean that, you know, you might have uh, siblings, you might have children, you know, you, you can't work in an environment because you're not used to it. Okay, so with that said, um, that will obviously also impact us marketers because that means that there will be more demand for highly skilled remote workers. Okay, so because people can't work properly from home, businesses will need uh, or will want or demand more remote workers and more highly skilled remote workers or third parties that can basically take over um, you know, while their business or office is shut. So this might also mean that low level workers, um, people that are easily disposable, um, will lose their jobs because they, you know, it's not a high income skill. And, um, you know, basically if that is costing the business money or if you aren't as productive or, you know, the outcome that you are producing isn't the same as what it was, then, you know, you will basically be removed from that business. And like I said, you know, that might um, leave more room for third party agencies, consultants, um, advisors, and maybe even remote workers. Now, whether you are a freelance or an agency, that might work to your benefit. For the smaller businesses in the long term, uh, like I said, they might lose their low level workers, um, they will start to panic, show more objections, and businesses, especially small businesses, without a solid marketing plan, they will also lose customers because, you know, as you can see, no one is out in the streets anymore. No one is going out and, uh, you know, I can't say that people aren't buying because obviously there's a lot of people uh, buying a, uh, you know, certain items as uh, like toilet roll, for example. Uh, but with that said, you know, for other types of businesses, they will lose customers because there's less people out in the streets. You know, I've seen hot, uh, restaurants, uh, so for hotels, so for uh, cafes, bars and so on and so forth. So with that said, if there's no set marketing plan in place and there's less customers, that means that they need to find those customers from somewhere else or they need to promote their business business in another way to actually try and get those customers in regardless of the situation. And again, that is where we come in. That is where you, know, you can get uh, online marketers or people that are experienced with online marketing. Now again, regardless of whether you're a freelancer, a remote worker, um, you know, an agency or an online consultant, anything like that, you know, your expertise will be in higher demand because people are you know, physically seeing that there's less and less customers, there's less people on the street, so it's gonna be harder to get customers into those brick and mortar businesses. Now, obviously, again, like I said, this is for the local businesses, the smaller businesses. Um, so when we look at, for example, uh, online businesses, e-commerce, um, especially dropshippers, you know, dropshippers will probably um, not necessarily suffer but uh, they will struggle to import products from China. Obviously, a lot of dropshippers will use AliExpress, Alibaba, and um, even SunSky, you know, basically like large um, businesses and corporations like that to find their products that they dropship and use, you know, for their business. And, you know, they might see limitations because, you know, there's, there's import issues. Uh, people will not want products that are fabricated in China anymore. You know, all those issues will play a role. And if you are just a simple dropship and business reliant on those cheap Chinese products or products that are uh, fabricated in China, this might again impact your business. Now with that said, obviously because there's less people out there on the street, there's less people out there purchasing products, that will also mean that in like the middle to long term, people will start purchasing more online. Now obviously we've noticed that over the last few years, people are buying more and more online anyway, and I think that this will basically just augment that whole development and people will just buy more and more online, which will also mean again, that that will positively impact us digital marketers because that means there will also be more demand for online marketing. Okay, and maybe I'm just looking at this 
uh, in too much of a positive light. But, um, you know, all of these issues, I think, will be seen as opportunities for us online entrepreneurs and digital marketers because, like I said, you know, more online consumption and there is also less demand for physical products. And, you know, the physical products that are in high demand obviously, you know, quickly sold out, as you can see with uh, the, the toilet paper issue, which means that uh, people will need to find their supplies from other sources and, you know, the online world is... is the biggest marketplace to find that so again there will be more demand for online marketing and for online businesses to thrive and that is where we come in okay so basically now we have discussed in the short term like the smaller local businesses and the online dropshippers but also um, like for example health and well-being businesses will actually thrive upon this whole because people will now place a bigger emphasis on health and nutrition and well-being so if you have a I don't know a meal prep company you could actually thrive on this and you could actually use this in your copy and in your distribution to sell more meals you know you can say obviously you need to be very careful if you're using Facebook's um, you know the Facebook's business manager for this but you, um, you know if you can incorporate the stay healthy and stay away from this virus into your um, you know online marketing um, copywriting plan you know that could actually work in your favor but with that said like uh, we're trying to move away from the online businesses because I've just spoken about that before in terms of for example chiropractors uh, cryotherapy studios um, I don't know masseuses sport masseuses um, you know businesses like that will obviously thrive on this because you know, again, you can use this to your benefit, boost your immune system uh, by, you know, seeking um, help from a chiropractor, you know, all things like that. This can really work in their benefit and they'll notice that there'll be more demand for that because there's more of an emphasis placed on uh, health and well-being. Now, again, this is all in the short term. I have no idea what the implications are going to be in the long term. Um, I don't even know what the long term is. Is that four weeks? Is that six months? Is that 10 years? I have no idea. Um, again, like I said, I have minimal um, information and knowledge on this situation. I'm just basically um, giving you guys my two cents on it. And in the long term, like I said, I think there will be more demand for online marketing, there will be more need for um, you know products online rather than physical products. The smaller shops might suffer from this. You know, like I said, the low-level workers will uh, or might be replaced, and then obviously you know we. Uh, digital marketers, online consultants can come and replace them. But as a whole, you know, I think in the long term, uh, the local businesses that do want to survive, or the I don't know, just businesses in general, if they want to survive, they will have to turn to online advertising. Because, like I said, you know, there's less people out on the streets, and people are fearful of going out and buying products because they don't want to come in contact with other people. So if they can purchase something online from the comfort of their own home, the only person that they come in contact with is the person that actually delivers it and other than that you know they are basically safe and uh, they can go about their day-to-day -day things so there will be more demand for online advertising and again like I said I have no idea what the long term is whether that is two weeks or 12 years I don't know uh, but you know I think that in the long run because people were turning to online marketing anyway this would just augment the whole situation and the whole development and the online advertiser will be in more demand than ever and that is obviously for the businesses that want to survive and thrive but there's also you no know, risk averse businesses businesses that don't necessarily want to uh Put that investment in, put that risk in, because you know, with every investment, there is risk. You know, there's not a hundred percent guarantee that you're going to get your money back and that you're going to have a return on investment. Um, and businesses that are too afraid of making that gamble or making that investment, they will suffer the consequences. But that will also mean that they will stop the online advertisements, which will also mean that the cost per click will go down, the ad cost will go down because there's less people bidding on it, and there's also less competition, which makes it easier for those businesses that are actually, um, you know, investing into online marketing. It will make it easier for them to actually make conversions, get sales, and get more people, uh, get more traffic, and more people onto their website. So, like I said, um, that is uh, my. That those are my thoughts on it um, again you know don't take it all too serious I don't know I don't think anyone knows you know what this situation 
um, or how the situation is going to develop. Um, it's obviously going at a very rapid pace now and people are obviously, you know, uh, getting scared, panicking and like I said, you know, with those smaller businesses, you will get more objections uh, from people that don't want to or no longer want to invest into other business opportunities. But um, I think long story short, I think us as digital marketers, as uh, online business owners, online entrepreneurs, social media marketing agency owners, we should not panic, but we should just prepare because this could quite possibly be very fruitful for us. And we might actually reap the benefits from people moving towards the online platform rather than physically purchasing products. So like I said, uh, don't take this all too serious. I've said that about five times now, uh, but I just want to reiterate that, you know, I am not an expert at this in any way, shape or form. But hope you got something out of this, hope you enjoyed this video. Leave a comment down below what the situation is like in your country. Like I said, I do not watch the news, I do not trust the media. So uh, please give me your honest opinion on what the situation is like in your country. Like this video if you got something out of it, comment down below or that things that you'd like to see from my channel. Subscribe to the channel for more and I'll see you guys in the next video.